Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at how to calculate percentages of an amount. And we're going to show you three separate methods of how to do this. Method one is kind of thinking of it as a ratio. So if you think about, uh, we're trying to find 35% of 260 pounds. And so 260 pounds is 100%. And from that we can figure out 10% by dividing by 10, divide by 10. Because 100% divided by 10 is 10%. 260 divided by 10 is 26. And then we can also find 5% by dividing 10% by 2. From this, we can find 35%. If you wanted to keep going down to 1%, you divide by 5 to get to 1%, but we don't need that to get to 35%. To get to 35%, we're going to do 3 times 10% and then add 5%, 35%. Uh, so 3 times 10% is 3 times 26 pounds, and 5% is 13 pounds. 3 times 26 is 78, and then you add 13, that's 91 pounds. And that's how we, uh, that's one method for finding 35% of a number. My next method is thinking of it as a fraction. So 35% of 260 pounds is like 35 out of 100 times 260. So I can think of it as a fraction, because 35% is 35 out of 100. I simplify that fraction by divide by 5, divide by 5, I'm left with 7 out of 20. 7 out of 20 times 20, uh, 260 pounds. I divide by 20 and times by 7. Divide by the bottom times by the top, that's how I found fractions of an amount. 260 divided by 20 is 13. And then we times by 7. If you can't do 260 divided by 20 in your head, just write out your 20 times table, 20, 40, 60, etc, etc, until you get to 260. 260 divided by 20 is 13, and then times by 7 is, again, 91 pounds. Okay? And then finally, the simplest method is if you have a calculator, and we're just going to find 0 0.35 of 260 pounds. Because 35% as a decimal is 0 0.35. If you're not sure how to convert from uh, percentages to decimals, I have a video on that, but it's quite simple. You just put a decimal um, in the right place. We take our calculator, super simple, I know. 0 0.35 times 260 is 91 pounds. And that is the final answer. The beautiful thing about maths is you can do it in three separate ways and always get the same answer if you don't make any mistakes. Okay, which is your favourite method? Please let me know in the comments and tell me why. I'd love to hear your uh, ideas. But anyway, thanks for watching. I've got some practice questions for you here. So pause the video now and take 10 to 20 minutes to answer all of these yourselves. Okay. Choose your favourite method, and if you want to try all three methods, that's even better, so you really understand it. Okay, I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching today's video from Advanced Maths. We've got plenty, plenty more videos coming every week uh, for all of secondary maths, GCSE, A-level and IB. So remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.